Yo, what's up, baby? It's Nick, Junk Guy, San Diego. We're out here removing this hot tub. It's the second one for this week. What's up? Nobody wants our hot tubs anymore. So just a couple of tools you'll need to remove a hot tub when you're doing it yourself. You're gonna need a big ass sledgehammer. Cause this thing, this tool, is gonna break all this stuff and tear down all the skirting for you. First tool. Second tool, you're gonna need, you'll need a sawzall. Preferably electric one, because the battery one, I don't know if it'll last that long. And get yourself some nice Dunlop blades. Now we went with the cheap ones. You go with the more expensive, cost a lot more. So we just got the cheaper ones, but these Dunlops last, they do really good for us. So that's what you need. You need a sawzall. You need your big ass sledgehammer. You need some good old fashioned elbow grease to get this thing pulled apart. So we're gonna put it on time lapse. We'll get this thing done. It takes about an hour, hour and a half. Cut them up, throw them away. So yeah, stay tuned. I'll show you how it's done. If you don't know, if you want to do it yourself, DIY it. We're gonna show you how to do it. Stay tuned. Oh, okay. So we got the skirt off of it. Next step is we're gonna cut the motor out. Get the filter out. What's that? Yeah, we just did one the other day in the rain. Oh, yeah. We cut this out, and then we're going to start chopping it up. Oh, I will. Thank you. you will? Okay. No, give me give me like 15 or 20 minutes, though. Okay, when you're done, I'll let you know. I'll, I'll go, hey, latte. Okay, you got it. Okay. I'll make you, another one when you're ready. You got it. Okay, so skirts are all gone. You got it. Motors are coming out. Look at that. So we got everything else hauled to the truck. So stage two now. Check it out. I'll pull these out right now. All you do is cut them. Okay, guys. For all you non-construction people, and when you have your extension cords and they pull out and you're pulling them, there's a little trick. So you take the two and yeah, take them. And we're gonna tie them together like this. Whoop. So that way when you're working, you're not gonna be you're not gonna pull the extension cord out. You won't pull the cord out because it's tied into a little knot. And that way we got it. That's a good tip of the day. So now we gotta cut all these out. Check it out. I'm gonna cut all the pumps out, all the motors. Okay, that's it, bro. So we got all that cut out, ready to go. Pick that up, get out of your way. And then we'll start chopping the jacuzzi, hot tub, spa, jacuzzi, whatever you want to call it. A million things to call that thing. Cesspool, disease pool, <laughs> whatever. Anyway. Okay, guys, so you saw us drink our latte. The perks of the trade. Got all the all the plumbing out of it. See, it's all cleared. This is a super old jacuzzi. This stuff's okay. This stuff will just break out, but we don't care. It's not like that Costco jacuzzi that we cut up two days ago. That thing was a nightmare. This thing will cut this, chop it up, a couple pieces, haul it out after my latte. Okay, time for the choppy choppy on the jacuzzi. Stay tuned. Forgot to say, you need to put your safety gear on. Gloves, respirator for all that fiberglass that you're gonna be cutting up, and some type of eye protection. If you, this isn't safety glasses, but at least it's some type of protection for me. Definitely need to wear a mask because you don't wanna get sick breathing in all that fiberglass. So we'll put this thing on, get our gloves on, guantes, the masca. I don't know how to say mask in Spanish. And let's see, put our pinch down. 
and a dusk mask or some type of respirator works really good. So remember, safety first. It's your health. And glasses. Woo! Stay tuned. Here we go. Choppy, choppy. All right, you guys. So woo. we're starting to chop it up. We've got three pieces off. We'll cut this one out, that one, and that one. They will have six. We'll have seven pieces. And that way, I like to cut them up like that. It makes it way easier to do it by yourself when you cut little pieces up instead of like some people just cut them in half and carry them out. But if you don't have anybody and you're doing it by yourself, DIY, cut them in a small. Okay, guys. So you saw it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven piece. No way we'll be able to walk it out. So that's the last step. You just cut it all up, these little pieces, and you're gonna throw it in the in the junk truck, and we're gonna haul it out. So that's how to remove a jacuzzi by yourself. First of all, disconnect it. Second, break the skirt out using a big ass sledgehammer. Third, cut all the motors, pumps, pipes, all the shit that gets in your way when you're cutting through. Get all that out of your way. And then you're gonna chop it up like a pie. And then the last and final step, you're gonna pick it all up and walk it out to the truck. You know what the best thing of all, if you're doing this for a living, you get paid some cheddar. So anyway, we're gonna throw this in the truck and we'll be done. And that's how you remove a jacuzzi by yourself. Or hold on, broom finished, clean as a whistle. Junk guy, San Diego, we do it all. We go the extra mile, the extra distance. We actually even put stuff down on their driveway because they got a brand new driveway and we didn't want nothing leaking on that thing. Look at this thing, it's a beauty. Look at, look at all this. It's a huge driveway, look how big it is. So we put boards down there, make sure our customers are 100% satisfied. Satisfaction guaranteed. Oh, the junk truck. Oh. So, anyway, we just got another call too. So, you go and do another job before I get home. So, that took us about an hour. So, if you need a hot tub removed, it takes roughly an hour, hour and a half to get moved out of the yard. Complete. In the truck. Done. 100%. You're satisfied with a broom finish. So if you need us, give us a call. 760-331-3289. Junk guy, San Diego. We're here to stay. Woo brah, shakas.